Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the video. In today's video, we're going to be building a, I'm calling it a back room countertop. It's a custom countertop for our back room in our old outdated house. So Kayla wanted to rearrange the back room and she wanted this custom piece of furniture. So I'm going to build it out of this inch and a half, 14 gauge, I believe is what I'll say here shortly in the video, uh, square tubing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. I'm sure you will if you're anything like me and you've been watching this uh, channel for a while. One thing I wanted to mention before we jump into the video is the fall enrollment sale for our online courses, arosswelding.school. You can find the pipe fence course and the quick rig course. So to take advantage of the 20% off of our courses at checkout, use the discount code FALL24, all caps, all capital letters, F-A-L-L and 24. In the future, to get notified about these sales ahead of time, like ahead of these Friday videos, you will want to go to our trade school website, arosswelling.school, and get on our email list, or newsletter, I think we call it, they're on the website. We didn't get it done this year, uh, the notification ahead of time, the email ahead of time. So those of you that are watching this thinking, I'm on your email list and I didn't get notified, well, that's because we didn't get it done this year because we're a little bit behind on some of our work. As you can tell, those of you that are watching, I'm in a different house right now. That's because, well, that's because it's a secret where I'm at. You'll find out in a later video. Some of you might already know if you follow some other people here on social media. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know, for those of you that maybe have not been around, maybe this is the first video you're watching of uh, me here on the channel, to get notified about any sales or anything that we want to announce here with AROS Welding, make sure and get on our email list at the trade school website, arosswelding.school, but also the arosswelding.com website. Get on both newsletters. Now that we got our mobile rig set up here, chop saw status, we got that guy, we got this little, little guy. Hold our square tubing up over here. The shop was just feeling a little crowded, so I wanted to set up out here to cut this square tubing, but the goal is to build a frame, like a tabletop, out of this inch and a half, 14 gauge square tubing for this piece of plywood that Kayla has painted. And it's gonna go in our back room and uh, it's gonna be about 39 inches tall. I'm gonna inset the square tubing a couple inches. That way you can't see it whenever you're standing at it. So it'll be inset back here all the way around so it'll go like this and then and then we'll screw this down to the top of it four down legs and actually it'll be inset on one side for shoes to go in there'll be a couple of shelves on this side for shoes and so i'll probably make the square tubing yeah i'll make the square tubing maybe do i need to do that hmm. yeah i'll go ahead and make the square tubing come out here but my first down leg will be about 13 inches back come down four legs with some feet that way I don't cut into the carpet or at least cap square tubing and then I'll put one rail in between back there one rail here one rail here but we don't want to put any rail across the front at the bottom that way it's easier to get stuff in and out of and then at some point Kayla's going to make some decisions on how she wants to put some shelves and we will end up potentially putting some doors Possibly maybe just a curtain, but we, she definitely wants some shelves here and there to help organize some stuff. So, fun fact, this is the shipping table, or what used to be the shipping table whenever Kayla first started Industrial Tradition. It was not white. She's painted it white. It was just like a, I don't know, kind of like a wood color or like a light tan color. And uh, we've ripped it in half. It was six foot long already, but... We've ripped it in half, two foot, and we got another two foot section somewhere, I think in the cargo trailer. So anyway, kind of neat repurposing it because we built a whole new shipping situation out there uh, in our building where we carry all the AROS welding products now. By the way, we still do have industrial tradition products. We just have kind of decided to focus on AROS welding uh, brand here lately. If, I mean, you've probably noticed that if you've been following along. Anyway, we still have industrial tradition stuff. The website site's still up. You can still order stuff from there, leather patch hats and whatnot. But just so everybody's kind of aware, those that have followed for a really long time, 
I just wanted to give you an update there. And for those of you that didn't know about Industrial Tradition, that is a, a, a lifestyle brand that Kayla started years and years ago whenever we started filming here on YouTube, whenever she started filming on YouTube. I was just a shy guy that didn't talk much, just welded on pipeline, you know what I mean? But uh, anyway, little weekend project here, inch and a half, 14 gauge square tube frame for this cabinet, uh, tabletop for our back room. So I'm gonna go finish setting up our mobile rig and start cutting some square tubing. All right, we've made some decisions. We're gonna make it. I took some notes over here, 57 by 21 as far as the top, and then we're doing 36 inches tall to the bottom of the square tubing so that makes it real simple I need to cut four legs at 36 inches and since my saw is already set up to do straight cuts I'm gonna go ahead and cut four of those if we hadn't decided on the height I would cut these last uh, but since I literally just went in the house and had a conversation with Kayla and she decided on 36 inches to the bottom of the square tubing so I'm gonna cut four of these change my saw to a 45, cut two 57s with 45 on each end, and two 21s, and then start put, building our frame. After I get my HOTUS set up here to the proper height, come on. All right in, right in there, I'd say. Hootie patootie, hootie patootie. You betcha, you betcha. Tooty patooty. Leave a little slack in there so I can turn it to get it square. Got my Diablo blade, uh, 72, 72 tooth blade. Second, too shy. Thirty second short. Man, look how handy this works back here. Check this out. Oh yeah. Prepped my stands by putting this at not quite half a thread, but making sure there's threads on each side. And then lifting this up a little bit. That way, again, there's more pipe down here if we need it. But we also have some up here in case we need to go down. Because the first thing we're going to do first thing I do whenever I build anything in jack stands is get all the pieces level with one another all in the same plane all right and since we're working on gravel I like to get it as close as possible to our other width before we even start to level everything up Because every time we move these stands, like every time I bump this around, that could change the, that could bring this down or up. More importantly, I gotta get geared up, get comfortable, get everything I need on. Get my welding hood on, make sure my clear lens is decently clean. Way I can see what I'm doing. 
throw these on that way I'm not uncomfortable when I'm down there trying to tack it that way I can make a quality tack all this prep work right here is well worth the time in my opinion and you do better quality of work because then you don't have that excuse of oh my knee hurts or oh you know I can't see oh all these things you know all right to get a rod bucket together one eighth 80, 10, 57 and a 16th, 56 and 15, so this one here's got a Come back a touch. So I just took my sanding pad and sanded this end down till it was what what I wanted my measurement to be, 56 and 15 sixteenths. And now I'm taking my speed square, and lining it up with the end of that. Done it across that way already. Now I'll do it across this way. Now, I can just take my sanding pad and just sand back to that line. Now we can start leveling everything up. See, that just makes no sense to me. If I level this one, leveled it this way without touching this one, you know, move that jack stand. I went all the way around. When I get back to here, the doggone thing should be level. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why. I'll figure it out one of these days. But I just am so confused. It always takes me a couple of rounds and I just to see all of a sudden we're good now. I just don't know why I needed that last. I just don't understand it. Should only have to go around one time. One time. Doesn't make any sense to me. Okie doke. We're almost ready. We gotta square it off. And we gotta clamp some plates on here to set that piece in with. I just thought of a tool couple of tools that I need. I need some smaller clamps that aren't so heavy that I can clamp to here without, you know what I mean, making these roll or tip off my jack stands or nothing. I need some lighter weight clamps for this lightweight stuff. So rather than using the plate method, I'm just going to use this jack stand. Ideally, I would use two jack stands, one down here and one down here, and I would hold this right in here, but since there ain't much room, I'm just going to do the one, I guess. I don't really like this, but whenever I say the plate method, for those of you who may not know, I normally clamp a plate to this one underneath here and underneath here, that way I can just set this piece right on them plates. Sixty inches. It's kind of windy to be working outside. Sixty and a half, so I'm going to push this back to sixty and a quarter. Sixty and a quarter, roughly. That'll be good to get her tacked. Bumper around here. See this right here, sketchy business. Bumping that out, but now that may not be level. That is just sketchy business. Back. Let's go around one more time. Now that I bumped it. Get her level again, boys. Bad. Not too 
bad. Not too bad. Oh, come on. That's what my nephew says. Oh, come on. Where he learned it, I don't know. I ain't got no idea. Probably his dad. Bring her inside. Start sprinkling on her. Storm moving in. And there it is, all finished up for the most part. We might put some doors or curtains on it, but uh, this is it. You can see I added an extra piece there at the top because that was my original plan, but clearly I got distracted because I'm pretty sure I even said it at the beginning of the video that I was going to overhang the, the top, but I totally spaced. I don't know, got in uh, teaching mode, I guess, here, you know, talking about my process, <laughs> uh, how I build things in jack stands and whatnot. But anyway, went ahead and added one at the top. And uh, yeah, done deal. Feels good to have this done. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out our online courses and to take advantage of the 20% off of our courses. Make sure and punch in that discount code FALL24, FALL24, all capital letters, at checkout. That's a rosswelding.school. I hope you have an awesome weekend, an awesome day, whenever you may be watching this. And remember, learn something every day. Thanks for being here. We'll see y'all next Friday.